You already know all things sports and entertainment, but man, we got some sad news coming out of Kansas. Um, my mom, Tisha Florence, has been arrested for um, charged in a first, second degree deletion of her son, tragically. Now, it says the young man's name uh, is Robert Florence, 16 years old. Now, according to the article, and I'm gonna leave it, leave it in the in the description. But I'm gonna sum it up. He was supposed to go to school, but he wasn't. And his other two older brothers wasn't at the house. And um, per this article, it says that, um, so he was at home all day. And then it says that uh, he was trying to use a phone. She wouldn't let him because he wouldn't ask his father for money. And it says, quote, the mother said that she acquiesced to her son's request after the call. Her son began pulling down the curtains and tearing up bits of paper and throwing them on the floor. And the mother says also that, um, her son became basically he was becoming destructive and it says at some point jenkins says she laid down on the bed and started texting a friend then her son picked up a backpack and removed a ruger security nine millimeter now also so then the mother says that her son did make he made no threats with the gun and did not point it at at her but however jenkins learned forward and grabbed the handgun and backpack from robert jenkins held the, the handgun pointed it towards robert and made a statement do you just want to you know no longer be here and then she's saying that the gun just went off and, and um un unfortunately the young man lost his life she's probably gonna go to jail for a long time and i do think that this could be prevented look i get it y you know we got teenagers and sometimes they want to cut up and talk back and you know be rebellious but there's other ways you could handle that sister i mean first the police you could have called you could have called his father honestly you could call his father because I'm, I'm assuming this isn't the first pattern of uh of him cutting up like the way he acting out should i say the way he was because i'm looking at the i'm looking at a couple of articles and um she's saying that he was bad and he was in the drugs and all of that so i mean at that point sister you gotta you gotta let him go be with his father you know and according to this article he was trying to talk to his father so he need to be living there but i honestly think that the second thing is when you're going through something like that and you can't get over his father you need to call the police you need to call the police because if he didn't put a weapon out on you now it don't say who weapon it was whose it was but the fact that y'all y'all into it and and he's pulling it out now you in, in whatever mind you in survival mode you trying to you know trying to uh, uh, show one up to him and something tragic like this happens man and it's sad because i know that no mother wants to delete their delete their kids i'm sorry my mama y'all mama they will put their life on the line for us but her life is messed up it's gonna be forever messed up the young man is gone she, he got two older brothers they're gonna be gone and apparently he was trying to talk to his father his father gone and the grandparents alive but i'm saying gone i mean as far as like they won't be the same and it's, it's sad it's sad it's sad um we have to learn how to handle situations like this better and, and i get it it's not perfect it ain't no manual we we too comfortable with holding weapons and and, and things like that in our community man listen i was always taught that if you aim you know cause i used to go hunting you better be ready to use it you know what i mean and we, we we gotta stop we gotta stop walking around with weapons and 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 just things like that like i don't even know how does how does point you walk how you even have a nine millimeter on them you know what i'm saying or if it was just out of her backpack or whatever but he should have not even been that comfortable with that you know i remember getting into it with my father and and i was i was too scared to even hold a pillow up and and i get it you you can say well man you know some kids is bad okay well he need to go be with he need to go be with his father if him and the mother aren't together and your son get to that point listen all teenage boys if, if you if your kids if you got teenage sons man in my opinion if you're not with the mom your, your sons need to be with you they need to be with you because stuff like this you know what i'm saying so um it's just sad it's sad we gotta we, we have to learn how to handle conflicts a whole lot better than that and you know i i can't go too hard on her because i know she probably didn't mean to do it but you know th th this is what happens you know you try to scare somebody and look it didn't cost you it's it, it cost him it, it cost both y'all families man so that's why we gotta we, we we gotta we gotta learn how to handle stuff like this better man but you know rest in peace to that young man and it's just it's a it's a tragic story but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it Give me y'all opinion, man. She right, she wrong, or my tripping, let me know below.